at some point in our lives, we'll probably need some form of physical therapy. When taken seriously and done correctly, its benefits we know are countless, but there may be some things that you're getting wrong. Join us now in our audience is physical therapist, Dr. Karen Jobert, who's here to tell us what physical therapists may not always tell you. That is correct. I feel like well, after 30 years of being in physical therapy, I'm starting to become the rebel physical therapist because there's so much that people don't understand. First of all, 20% of us at this moment have neck pain. If you have neck pain, get yourself to a physical therapist. You can walk to a physical therapist, it's direct access. They can help you figure out what's wrong. And if they, need, they think you need to see a doctor, we can refer them to you. Don't go on Amazon and buy this. One of my patients brought it in and I said, I'm not kidding. I said, you're Dr. kidding. Karen, that looks like a torture Wait device. A minute. I tried to do looks it. Looks like so, s &M. So this hangs. <laughs> Wait, you guys, and then this fills up with water and somehow it's supposed to help your neck. She hurt oh her neck. Oh my gosh. She hurt her neck. So listen, don't go on the internet. Don't self-diagnose. Come see me. Come see doctors. Number two, if you're going to physical therapy, I have a real issue with this. And I've come to learn this. It's like some people... Obviously, you've had surgery and you have to exercise on the floor, right? You don't have a choice. But why are all of us doing stuff on the floor? It doesn't carry over into what we do every day. We do exercises and we, we function standing. So if we're exercising muscles laying down and then we expect to have good balance and good carryover standing, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So start thinking outside the box when you're learning exercises. A third thing, if you go into physical therapy, let's just say you have right knee pain and they just go to your right knee, mm -hmm. get out of there. Right. They need to be looking at the other side. For how, how do they know what your normal side is like if they just start treating not only the source of pain, but they, they can't compare. And another thing, and I, this isn't your fault, doctors. It irritates me when my patients come in with an image of their right knee. I'm like, but what does your left knee look like? Like, what am I, is this a congenital issue? It's just, it's the insurance problem and they would save so much money. Well, it just, why does that? It, it it's just, almost like everyone has to get back to the whole concept of the hip bones yep. connected to the knee exactly. bone is connected. And it's all like, you may have neck problems, but it could be because of your left foot. Exactly. Like, you know, and you've been walking wrong for 10 years, so I, I love that you're this telling is, people this. Well, it's just, it's frustrating. It's ridiculous. It's, it is frustrating. This is deja vu all over again because Karen was my physical therapist oh, when, cool. I re, when I rehabbed my knee replacement, yeah. partial Isn't knee that funny? replacement. Everything I'm hearing, she said, I mean, you have to do physical therapy or you're not going to get better. Correct. But Correct. if you don't f do physical therapy correctly, you can make it worse. And you're grabbing something. There's one last thing. Wait, have what is it? Really quick. Us? If you go into physical therapist and they say, I have back pain. Oh, let's put you in an orthotic to correct your alignment. Run out. Of, well, you can't run because you have back pain. Crawl out of that <laughs> clinic. These things cost, they, they rip you off several thousand dollars. Here's the deal. I make orthotics. I believe in them. An orth orthotic brings the ground up to the foot so you have more support when you walk, mm -hmm. right? It is not supposed to correct your alignment. Mm -hmm. When I make an orthotic, it is at the end of treatment after I've managed their neck pain, their back pain, their knee pain, their ankle pain. It's just a little icing on the cake. That's all it is. So do not spend thousands of dollars on an orthotic. They can be helpful. I know I'm going to take a lot of heat for this, but they are not, the main purpose is not to correct the alignment. Correct it with help of exercise and a physical therapist. And Dr. Karen, you know, this is really important that people go with an open mind. Sometimes you go in and you say, I've got this problem. I got a neck problem. But what if that's coming from somewhere else? So Thank it's really you. good to just go open minded. Don't read the internet articles and think that you know what a physical therapist does. Again, kudos right, Karen, to what you do. This is important. I've been working so hard. Oh, God, here how's, we go. How's my posture? Uh-oh. Oh, let's all do it. Well, I mean, Those really, I can't up. see it without your, your clothes. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm not judge, taking my wait, clothes wait, off. Dr. Come on. Karen, Dr. How, Karen, how are judge we doing? us. How are judge we doing? us. Judge us, all three of us. <clears throat> I'm trying. Pretty good, you guys. I'm trying. I don't know, Trev, you had a little bit of a forward head. You got a little bit of a... back, get it back? Oh, no. no, don't do that. What to do correct do? your neck posture, it comes from... It comes... It's not... You guys don't do this. It comes <laughs> from here. I love, I love what you do. I love your perspective on, on this. And Thank you. You can't solve it in a day, but finding a good physical therapist can be the difference between a lifetime of pain versus a lifetime of feeling great. Karen, thank you. We'll see you Bye. soon.